By the end of this video, you should be able to export subtitles from Descript in two different ways. That is, subtitles as band in subtitles into your video or subtitles as individual tracks. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn together. So I'm inside Descript and I already have a video on screen that has been automatically transcribed and I've made a couple of edits uh, and uh, the transcript and everything is ready. So what do we need to do first? Let's say all you wanted to do was just export a subtitle file. Uh, that is, you just need to come to share and then click on export and then click on subtitles. And when you get to this particular option, there are two subtitle formats that you can export. Either subrip subtitle, that is an SRT or a video text uh, title or web VTT, uh, which is common with HTML5 players. And then there are different formatting options. Both these subtitles are plain text subtitles uh, that you can easily read with any note editing application, for example, Notepad on Windows. Uh, as for the formatting options, uh, personally, I'd recommend you stay within the range of 32 to 42 characters per line. That really works well uh, especially when you have some content uh, with the sweet spot being around 37 so that you can increase and uh, make sure that your subtitles are easily readable. Two lines for uh, that is maximum lines per card is pretty awesome. So please try and work with that. And if you have speakers, you can always include them. But let's say we wanted to export this particular uh, composition as a subtitle. That is a subrip subtitle. All we need to do is just click on export. Once you do that, uh, we'll need to actually review where the file is going to be saving. So let's just click on save. And once it's done, you can click on open and navigate to the folder with the subtitle. And then I can just double click on it and it's going to open up in a note editing application. And this is just uh, the simple anatomy of an SRT file, a number, time codes, the subtitle text, a space, and then a number and so on and so forth. So that is the easy way number one. So the second way that we can actually export subtitles is as banding subtitles into a video. So if you're working on uh, videos, especially for social media videos, then you might need to add subtitles permanently on your video. So here's an easy way to do that. Uh, all you need to do with your edits ready, uh, you've made your edits. Uh, all you need to do is select the position where you want to add your captions. Once you selected the position where you want to add your captions, then press on control K and this will bring up a dialog box of what you'd like to do. Uh, press on F and this is to insert fancy captions. If I click on insert fancy captions and we can still uh, uh, with uh, this particular timeline selected, uh, press on control E, uh, control minus, sorry, so that we can see uh, where our fancy captions get up to. Let's say uh, it's up to that position. So we can have that uh, the, that uh, fancy caption come up to there. And uh, if you actually play this particular video, uh, we can just play it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is David and let's get into today's video. You can always style your fancy captions the way you want. And a good thing that Descript has uh, I've made available is that you can have fancy captions for the different sections that we want. So we can press on control K again, press on F and then insert fancy captions. And it's going to insert another fancy caption in the section that we want. Uh, let's say we pull this up to here. Uh, let's play top key. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you the best. Stay safe. And until next time, never stop learning. Tab again to stop. Uh, let's move up to somewhere here. And then we can press on control K, F, insert fancy captions. And then we insert, we can just press on control minus to see the whole uh, interface. The, that particular subtitle gets up to there. So let us see uh, what it looks like tab. If you have any question or comment, kindly feel free to leave it in the comment section below. So uh, you have, uh, we can just do control minus to see the whole thing. You have your fancy captions inside the script. Uh, they are already available. Uh, you've potentially made the edits or changes that you want. Depending on the edits that you want to do, 
you can have different options for the different fancy captions. For example, this particular subtitle has a lot of text. Let's say we adjust, but this is going to affect everything that is available in this particular caption block as it is. So we can just increase the points to almost like, let's say 58 or let's say 60. You can still click inside here and change this manually. Uh, let's go for like 62 or 64 uh, that looks good uh, you can change the opacity and all that you can style with whatever uh, font you want so this is going to be different from this particular fancy caption you see the points are different so depending on what you're working on you can change the different captions for this particular uh, composition the way you want but once you're satisfied with your edits then all you need to do is just come to the share button and then click on export and then click on video. Once you click on video, you'll say that you want to just export the current composition uh, and it's going to pick out all the different things that you want uh, to fit in there. The audio and the video quality, we can say hi and then press on export. It's going to prompt us where we want to save the video. Just click on save and then it's going to start exporting. So. This is what happens. It's going to export the video. It's going to download the original files for export. One is remaining. The reason why uh, this is necessary is because this script is trying to provide you with the best quality or potentially quality close to your original file as possible. So just make sure that you take note of this because this may, if you're doing a, a long video, this may take you some time before you get uh, your video in the quality that you want. If you're a freelancer and you just wanted to uh, send the video to a client or something, then you can just first of all send a medium quality uh, video so that they can see the results they're going to get. But once the video is downloaded, that is your original video, the exporting of the video, uh, really depending on how big your file is, might take a long or a short time. But I'm hoping that they're going to improve on this because it seems it takes a long time to call that particular file so that it can be exported to a video. But it's almost done. Let's wait and see what the video results look like. So here we go. Exporting video, video export completed, open. Let's just go to the file again and let's just double click on this. Welcome back to, it's going to open inside VLC. Uh, you can see the logo. I'm sure it's because this is a free version. My YouTube channel, my name is David and let's get into today's video. So the reason why you might be seeing subtitles appearing here is because uh, inside this particular folder, we have the subtitle, the SRT subtitle file with the same name as the video. And when this is available, VLC tends to pick up uh, the particular subtitle uh, and automatically render it or add it to the video uh, stream when it's playing, but you can still disable this. Let's play again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you the best, stay safe, and until next time, never stop learning. If you have any question or comment, kindly... So that's about it on how you can export subtitles as banding subtitles in the video using the script or as standalone files using the script. That is either as SRT or VTT files. I hope this video has been of value to somebody that's interested in using the script for their subtitling of videos or even just producing subtitle files. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.